Can you believe it? Joe Biden might actually send out stimulus checks. Wait a minute, it's not April, is it? No, I'm just joking. Stimulus checks of 19 states that are literally sending out checks, hopefully before the end of the year. All of that information is right here in this video. Let's just say it's loaded with information that you might not wanna miss. So I was joking when I said that Joe Biden would send out stimulus checks, but this information right here says that Biden plays Scrooge, takes your Christmas cash with high inflation. Americans expected to pay 5% less on holidays as they struggle to make ends meet. Americans are in the store for one of the most financially challenging Christmas seasons in years. Fueled by high levels of inflation, families in 2022 are expected to spend far more on energy and less on celebrating the holidays, including making purchases for loved ones. According to the survey data by nonpartisan National Relief Federation, the average consumer expects to spend $832 for core holiday items in 2022, including gifts, decorations, and holiday meals. That's down from $879 in 2021, a decline of more than 5%. But yet again, many people are struggling, especially with small businesses. Let's take a watch. Christmas tree price hikes. The holiday staple is the latest item to hit and get hit by inflation as Americans struggle to make ends meet this season. More than 70% of tree growers are facing higher costs on everything from fertilizer to fuel, leaving sellers with no choice but to raise their prices. Co-owner of Kimmy Farms, Gilbert Miller, is joining us now to discuss. Uh, Gilbert, thank you for getting up with us this morning. Uh, you know, when I read the story, I felt so bad because you know, full disclosure, it's the first time in a long time I've bought a fake tree. And I always like to support local businesses and our farmers. And when I read this, I thought, you know, I just cut out two or $300 for a, a local business. And so I feel for you. So tell us, what are your customers saying when they come to you? Are, are they saying that, hey, these prices are too high? Do they leave? Do they stay? I mean, what's going on? How are you dealing with this? <laughs> Yeah, well, first off, thank you for having me. Uh, you know, I, our, our customers are feeling the same pressure here as they're feeling everywhere else in retail right now. And, you know, Christmas trees, um, for as much as, uh, as a Christmas tree salesman wants them to be a necessity, they're, they're, a, they're a want, not a need. And so when someone comes to our lot, they're really looking for something that fits within their budget so that they actually have room to um, to buy food and to all of the necessities that they, they normally purchase. Um, and not only uh, to buy the tree, but to certainly put presents under it. And so it's um, it's been a challenge and we've heard it from, um, I would say about every other customer that comes on our lot says something to the effect of, we can't believe that the trees have gone up as high as they have. And and um, and we have to explain that they're, that, that Believe it or not, Christmas tree farmers have the same inflationary pressures that, that others do. And how are you dealing with that? Is it, I mean, how is it affecting you from an inflation standpoint? I'm sure that's, I mean, obviously that's the reason you have to raise your prices, but explain to us how you feel that and how you deal with it. Yeah, I mean, so, I mean, we, we've had to take price increases across the board for most of our trees. You know, if you think about where those pressures come from, it's from things as simple as, as the string that we use to tie the, the tree on top of the roof, which is doubled in prices. Uh, we have boards and things that we use for uh, traditional wood stands that were uh, $5 last year or $10 this year, nails that were 50 cents last year that are a dollar this year, um, fuel costs, um, obviously, but um, I mean, certainly everywhere you can think of, it has been uh, it has been a challenge. So, uh, given that it's the Christmas tree season or Christmas season, that we we've tried to take as few price increases as possible across the board. But we've had to pass some of that along, certainly to our customers too, unfortunately. Right. I mean, you have to make a living, so you you have to keep up with the inflation in order to make a living. So we all understand that. Uh, compared to last year or even the year before, what are your sales looking like? right now are they up are they down are they the same 
Yeah, that's a that's a great question, and and we've seen it. We we believe that it's it's the same. I mean, if I'm looking at my numbers from last year to this year, year over year, we're down a little bit. Um, but I, I would say that we've seen sales. Um, that have been slower. It has been, it's taken longer throughout the day and it's certainly taken a lot more work on our end. Um, we've had people that have, that have come here um, surprised by the prices and, and certainly that they want to shop around a lot more than, than we've had in years past. And, and it takes, um, it maybe takes a little bit longer to sell that Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. And, and certainly um, as, as best as we can, we try to meet the budget of everybody. Um, but I think this, this, these coming two weeks will really tell the tale, and, and this, is, this is the time of year where people that have um, defined budgets and, and certainly are working with just a little bit of extra money in their pocket are, are looking to, to find either the Christmas tree of their dreams or to do without, and so it's, um, yeah. I really hope that that business does good. I mean, everybody's just trying to make it now, and with things going up, unfortunately, they're having to push their prices off to the customers, but hopefully they'll do good this year, and things will get better in time. Again, I'm your host, John Miro. Thank you for tuning in. We do a ton of giveaways right here on this channel. That'll be taking place at the end of this video. We'll also announce some more information when it comes to stimulus checks and things that are happening right here in our own backyard. In fact, Let's dive on the screen so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. So some people might not like the governor of California, but after this statement, some people might just like him a little bit more. Sick and tired of high gas prices, California seeks to punish oil companies with a new penalty. The governor had a small clip saying, hey, they're taking advantage of you and this isn't right. In fact, let him tell you himself. We're not talking about a price a cap in terms of we're talking about a penalty for gouging people. We're talking about people that are taking advantage of you, uh, raking in billions and billions of dollars of excess profit. They're trying to come up with a plan to penalize these oil companies for taking advantage of the American people. California lawmakers on Monday introduced legislation to penalize oil companies for alleged price gouging, setting up a showdown with an industry that has long wielded political influence in the Golden State. Many of you guys know that in California, gas is around the five, six dollar range, which is very, very high considering when I passed the gas station here going down the road and gas was only two dollars and fifty five cents right here in Tennessee. So that's not a bad price, but when you're paying five, six dollars, then I don't know how they do it. I mean, that is just way too much for a price of gasoline. But I wanted to bring that information for those that live in the state of California. I hope that they work things out with these industries to lower gas prices even more. Now, moving on to these 19 states that are sending out stimulus checks. Now, I wish that every state was sending out stimulus checks, especially to those on a fixed income like SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Survivors, VA. So many people are depending on monthly checks just to make it throughout the month, and it's very difficult during the holiday seasons. Why? Because you wanna give your family gifts. You maybe wanna give your friend. You maybe wanna get yourself a gift, and when money's tight, that doesn't make it easy on you or possible to do things during the holiday seasons. Now, what I truly wish would happen was that they would work on a system to literally take care of our seniors, Social Security, fixed income, those that are disabled, our VA survivors, you guys really need the help and it's our job in this country to make sure that you are taken care of. Just giving you my thought input, I hope that it encourages you that, to know that there are people that truly care for your well-being. But moving on to some more information, here are the approved state stimulus and rebate check program. Now, what I like about Forbes is that they provide you with a ton of good information and not only that, but with the state and the amount that that state's giving out. So number one, Alaska, they were sending out the $3,200 payments, which man, I wish that every state would do that. So those payments are still going out. California wanting to send up to $1,050 rebates to their residents going down to Colorado. Colorado sending out $750 rebate payments going on till January 31st of next year. 
Delaware. Delaware had a $300 payment application where you could file it, but the end date was November 31st. So I'm hoping that you got that done so that way you can continue to get payments until the end of the year. Moving on to Florida, Florida is doing the $450 child tax credits to foster parents and parents that fall into that low income bracket. They're really trying to help the children out. But to me, that wasn't really the best move because it only targeted groups that had kids. And there are several disability uh, people, there's several people on Social Security, VA, that don't make enough money right now. So what is that doing to help them? And that, again, that's just my opinion there. Georgia, $250 rebate payments. These payments are going out from now until the end of the year. You've got Hawaii sending out $300 rebate payments. And if you can remember, we talked about how several people got the direct deposit into their bank accounts. But for those that opted out or maybe they wanted a physical check, it was going to take some time to get those checks out. But they were continuing from now until the end of the year. Idaho receiving those $75 rebate payments. Those are going out from now until December 31st. Then you've got the state of Illinois, $50 and $300 rebates. These rebates would be a big help and those checks are going out. Maybe if you haven't seen it, don't panic because it might be in the mail. You've got the state of Indiana sending out $325 to their residents from now until the end of the year. You've got the state of Maine who is sending out $850 relief payments going out from now until the end of the year. And just to make sure that we're all on the same page, what I mean by sending it now to the end of the year, several people are getting checks and those checks take time to get to residents because they can only send out so many per week and with all those people that they're sending checks to, it's gonna take a couple of months for everybody to get that check. Then you have the state of Massachusetts that are sending out everything by mid-December. Everyone should have received at least some sort of stimulus check in the state of Massachusetts. Minnesota wanted to take care of the frontline workers by giving them $488. Those started going out in November and will continue from now until the end of the year. New Jersey sending out the $500 rebates and many of you guys know that those were really targeted for the homeowners, for those that pay the rental program, which again excludes so many people and I hate that, but it, they are doing that for those particular groups. New Mexico sending out $500 rebates, hoping that they get those checks very soon. Remember, it will take some time, but here's what New Mexico is doing. They're saying that if you, long as you file your 2021 taxes by May 31st of next year, then you'll be eligible to receive a direct deposit or check. It's right there on the screen. So if you owe your 2021 tax return, your stimulus checks, that money is going to be deducted from your deposit check or however you want to get it. Oregon is sending $600 payments and those were mailed out to several households and yet they continue to be sent out through the rest of the year. Rhode Island, $250 rebate per child. Those are being sent out through the month of December. South Carolina, we read about that in the last video, but those are continuing to be issued out to March 2023 right there on the screen then you've got 250 dollars rebates for virginia and as long as you file that extension you won't receive your rebate until march of next year so if you haven't seen your check that went out maybe october 31st when it was halloween then know that those checks will be sending out by march of 2023 it's right there on the screen now here are some pending states that have either a gas rebate or a stimulus program. Kentucky, which is something that several people have been looking for, if you're eligible, then you'd qualify for $500 for a single filer and $1,000 per household. Montana falls into that group. They're wanting to issue $1,000 for homeowners and $1,250 to residents who paid state income tax. North Carolina is wanting to help them, uh, their residents out with $200 checks, then all you need is a license. So that is some very beneficial news. And then you've got Pennsylvania that literally was helping out uh, property owners, all those rental rebate programs. And so 
it's not really targeted to residents. And I think that's been put on a back burner. But hopefully in time, every one of these states will step up to the plate to take care of their residents. Just because I know that so many people need help. So many of you guys have been asking, what about North Carolina? What about Pennsylvania? What about Kentucky? What about Missouri, Michigan, Ohio, Louisiana, Arizona? I mean, I can go on and on about states that are not sending out stimulus checks. And I'm going to tell you something. It hurts me because I know that you guys really need help, especially during the Christmas holidays. But I hope the best for you. My prayers are with you, my friends. Please let me know down in the comments below if you have a certain question about your state. I want you to jump in on the free giveaway that we're doing right here on this channel. 10 lucky subscribers get the chance to win a Christmas gift of $20 and under. Make sure to let us know by following these steps. Letting us know you are the number one fan and comment what you would like as a gift. If you want another chance to win and you like movies, then you get a chance to guess which quote this line came from. What are you talking about? You gotta get back on duty. You're not a cop. Yeah, you're right. I got this down the costume shop. But I can't hurt to pretend. <laughs> What a wise and It makes me laugh every time. I hope you enjoyed it as well. And I couldn't end this video without playing one of my favorite clips. I think you might like it. Okay, people, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m., Santa's coming to town. Santa! Oh, my God! Santa here? I know him. I know him. I'm telling you, it's a classic. It's a great movie. It's awesome. So I hope that this information helped. Again, thank you so much for watching. Your love and support means the world. Please stay safe, stay warm, and stay sanitized. And until next time, I'm John Miro. Peace!